I can't get to you all. I'm Kids Mark, and this is Chapter 4 of Let's Play Legendary. And apparently, loading from last checkpoint starts me straight off in combat. This asshole! Alright! That's the thing that's happening! Oh crap, there's another one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Could I maybe have my SMG? Because the pistol, I ain't so confident, can kill these things as easily as I'd like. Uh, I have my SMG. Uh, can I cycle around to it? There it is. Alright, cool. Anyway, continuing from uh, the last place I left off. Crap, another one. Get away. Could you get away? Ah, uh, they're everywhere! I think activating all of this machinery attracted them because of the noise. Alright. Go! Oh, ow! Alright. Fair enough. Crap. All turned around. Uh. What the hell? I think I need to get over there. Ah! Damn it. Can I climb over? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, can I get there from here? I think so. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Because I assume I don't need to get into that topmost door? I mean, do I? Could I even? Ah, screw it. I'm just continuing this way because I think this is the path I was supposed to take. Because, uh. Cop guy. That one hell of an end in here. I grabbed it. Oh, there's probably some sort of PA entry up there. I can tell if I jump across this, that's a point of no return. So, I'll check that out and I'll just cut into it if I can actually climb up there. The completionist in me has to know! Alright. Can I, can I actually get it? Can I? Oh. Oh, it's over there. Okay. For a second, I thought all of this was just... Tremendous waste of time. And it could still possibly. <laughs> there we go. Uh, prove such. Jump while sprinting to. Can I make that? Are you for real? Uh. Alright. I know Charles Deckard is a hell of a leaper. I just feel like that is. a little stretch. Alright. Here it goes. Could have told you that was about to happen. Alright. I could see something over there. there. There's a crate of some kind. I can't tell the hell it is, though. Ah. Ah. I can actually see what's over there. That's a shotgun and a case of Molotovs. Oh, man, I want it. Can I have it? Ah. ah. Alright, I can't make that. I'm sure I'll come across a shotgun sometime. I think that's just a chance to get one early, so. Alright. I'll just continue on, because it seems like they are fairly generous about the distribution of guns across the environment, so... Uh... Can I actually progress this? Oh, oh, hey there. Um... There we go. Can I get to that? Come on. There we go. Cool! Ah, oh, this looks inviting. I'm sure I shan't ever get ambushed in here! Uh huh. Ammunition. How's that? Alright, controls are a little stiff in this game, I'm noticing. Not great. Oh, oh. Oh, alright. Are you harmed from fire? I know you're harmed from lead. Ow. There we go. Oh, there. Are these exploding or are these water? Alright, a little aimless in your clawing about and oh jeez, the hell did I do to your neck? Okay. Cool. Um. Oh crap, more are trying to come through. They're coming through. Uh-huh. Ah, this is happening. 
Come on! Come on! Come get some! I knew it. That's how I have to progress. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. Ooh. I'm also seeing something creepy in their design. In that, ah, one, they're hairless, and, ah, they haven't got tails. So I think they actually are creatures that are transformed humans. So I'm a little curious as to how their condition is spread. Because does it have to come from the teeth, or uh, could the claws perhaps spread it? Because in that case, <laughs> I, uh, I could use a little mythological penicillin, if you know what I mean. Considering how much I've gotten clawed up. Oh. I'm sure he can just walk it off, right? Alright. Cool. Rats. Yeah, you got yourselves a feast around here. Okay. Alright. Clickety-clack. Electro hack. What the hell? Don't be a sourpuss. Yeah, oh, it's adorable. Look at his giant eyes. All right. So apparently this is set in October. Can I tell the present day? I can't exactly. All right. So it's close to Halloween. Fitting. Oh. All right. I mean, yeah. Come on, man. Lying down on the job. It's a surefire way to get fired, man. Uh. There we go. Open security doors. Those doors. Can I open this door? I have to circle around. Something's gonna come through as I circle around, isn't it? Mm. 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 False sense of security. I can feel it. Mm. See you. Are you alright? Sir? Could you state the nature of your injury? Uh, uh, isn't a, a precise term. I'm looking for specific diction here. Ah, uh, looks comfortable. Alright. J just a few little, uh... Convulsions of death. And the final rattles of the mortal coil departing from his shattered frame. That's fine! I'm sure all of these folks are fine. Ooh, I can already hear the flies. And those are claws. Alright. Uh, hi. You might want to leave. <laughs> Just gonna steal this poor guy's alcohol. Alright, I can't. I guess I'm full up. So I didn't even need the case of Molotovs. Just come to think of it, I haven't thrown any. Alright. It's not good. Because rats fleeing all in the same direction, I can tell you, means you should follow them. Because they know something you don't. Alright. Oh, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just stay low. Continue on. And, uh, hope to not get my face clawed off. Because I like my face. I don't know about Charles, though. Charles' face, eh. Could do with a few scars, you know. Chick stick scars and all that. Checkpoint reached. Alright. I don't know what did that. I'm not entirely certain I'd like to know. Oh, it's more salamanders. Alright. Sorry, fire drakes. Come on, they're salamanders. I can't seem to do anything with that. So cool. Oh, more of these guys. I don't think they know I'm here. Can I creep around him? I don't need to anymore. Ow. Alright. Collect a little ammo. And move on. Alright. Come on, Abby. Call me a monster slayer. Can't tell. Yep, there is one in there. Alright. I couldn't tell if my eyes were just playing tricks on me for a second or if there was actually one there. There's the crank. There's the crank. Oh, God. There are so many. Oh, cool. Commandos. 
lures, distractions. Break it, break it, break it. Ah, I'm taking fire, literally. There we go. All right, now concentrate on these jackasses. Come on. Gotcha. Any more salamanders left? Anyway. Correct me all you like. I know the game says they're fire drakes. They're freaking salamanders. Whew. Cool. I'm all full up on animus. Can I go that way? I don't think so. Alright. Can I... Hi there. Could you maybe die, please? Ooh. Got him in the head. Alright. So it sure seems like headshots are indeed the way to go on these guys. Do something shrieking. That ain't good. Oh, that is not good. Could I have maybe used that against them? I probably could have. I should probably shut that off. Since I aim to continue that path. Yep, there we go. Alright. I do like the soundtrack of this game. Like, it's subtle and understated. It's like a single instrument, really. Come on. Jeez. Man, hip fire is almost useless. I can't tell how many hits it actually takes to kill them. Because sometimes it seems like they go down almost instantly, and then other times they absorb almost a mag. Or at least I expend one attempting to hit them. Maybe that's just the controls David, in the handle. The base soldiers are setting up command posts all over the city. How are they? I found an unguarded post in a subway station in Times Square. Meet me there. I'll use the post to call for help. Cool. I'll meet you there. At some point. Because I'm a little indisposed. Alright. Can I get past this? Simply enough. Apparently I can. Alright, cool. I need to start throwing Molotovs, because it seems like they're giving me a lot of them. I don't even remember the key for that. Was it like G for grenade? Uh, turn off electricity. Cool. Alright. Simple enough. Oh. Apparently I have to go through there. Alright then. I don't trust anything. Creatures can come out of frickin' anywhere. And I know a fair amount about mythology, because I play a lot of tabletop games, and they draw upon a lot of global mythology. Cannot sprint or jump when moving through water. Alright, good to know. Oh. And so I know, creatures cover pretty much all of the elemental spectrum. All right, coming off the rails. I'm sure everyone aboard is fine. Just fine. Okay. Just, just snatching the data. Don't worry. Oh, no. Miss me. Gotcha. I actually need your souls. Cause I'm hurting. Whoop. Come on. I shall render you onto so much crumbling rock. Just like so. Alright. Souls need more souls. Nightmare? Anyone? Alright. There we go. So all that is to say that, uh, yeah, I don't trust any environment as safe against creatures. Because they come in all shapes and sizes and elements. Oh, God. Oh, God. Deckard, oh. Thank God you made it. Follow me and I'll get us out of the city. All right. I didn't think you were as close as this. The soldiers guarding this post were called away a little while ago. Why? Something big is happening in Times Square. Oh, okay. All right. 
I'm, I'm here. What sort of side piece are you packing? That's a Desert Eagle! I'm, I'm here. I'm here! Oh. Oh, ammo. Alright, cool. Hang on, let me, let me just steal all of their gear that for some reason they had to leave in such a hurry they didn't take with them. Can can you trigger now? There we go. <laughs> I moved a little Is too this fast for what Faye said was going to happen today? Uh-huh. I had no idea those creatures were going to be released sure he or did. that he tried to kill both of us. Uh-huh. Luckily, I know some people who can help us stop him. Do you? Sort of an enemy of my enemy relationship. All right, charming. My meaning. Vivian, I thought those access codes looked familiar and you have Deckard at your side. It seems you two have a greater aptitude for survival than I anticipated. I'm a man of many surprises. Now say, you bastard! You set us up to open the box. Why? Us, Kimisabi! If I didn't let you in on the details of my operation when I hired Mr. Deckard, what makes you think I'm going to do so now? You're already monologuing. Frankly, you were always too ambitious to be trusted. Fair point. Why kill us then? Deckard, I want dead. Because loose ends, the hell do you think? Reasons. And while you Wait, don't what? know my full plans for Pandora's box, Vivian, you know enough to be inconvenient. So farewell, my dear, and goodbye, Mr. Deckard. I'm sure you're professional enough to understand. It's just business. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what you said. You said very specific reasons. That's yeah, not, no, uh. -uh. Because of course he did. Ah, oh, come on. Come at me, then! You and your freaking lantern head uniforms. Looking like Judge Dredd knockoffs. Whoa! With your cute little armored epaulets. Come on! Play soldier a little harder! Whoa! Whoa! What the hell are these guys? Are they on my side? Alright, cool. Sorry for shooting that one guy. I didn't mean it. I mean, I, I did. I just... I didn't mean to mean it. Alright. Moving out. Who the hell did you call, and how did they have such a swift response? Ooh. Ah. Come on. Gotcha. Mouse sensitivity is so jerky. Cast in the name of God, I judge you not guilty. That's a little uh, reference for you. Six hundred and sixty-six internets to whomever gets that reference. Caught you in the gut and shot you so hard you came through the wall. Poor sod. Cool uniforms, guys. I didn't do as much as I thought. Apparently, fancy powers aren't as powerful as <laughs> freaking submachine guns. Secure. What do we do with Deckard and Vivian? Oh, you know things and stuff. Copy that. Uh. Could you maybe have called someone that isn't gonna point guns in our face? Afternoon, Miss K. Lovely to see you again. Now, could you please tell me exactly why I shouldn't shoot you and your companion right here, right now? I'm curious to hear that answer, too, honestly. Lexington was a field commander for the Council of 98. Ah. Before Lefay abandoned me, I had more than one encounter with Lexington and the Council as an enemy agent. Now the Council was our only hope to stop whatever plan Lefay had for Pandora's box. Lexington was reluctant to believe my sincerity. But I knew too much about Black Order operations for him to just shoot me on the spot. The signet branded on Deckard's arm also made him an invaluable piece of the puzzle. An unexplained connection to Pandora's box. So a deal was struck. Deckard and I would help the Council retrieve Pandora's box and stop the phase plan in exchange for safe haven with the Council. The enemy of our enemy had just become our friend. The enemy of your enemy is only your friend as long as you still have an enemy to share. Alright. Bet that 
things things like crazy. Probably a little. should watch where you stick your hands in the future, huh? Uh -huh. Everybody look alive. The boss is online. All units listen up. This is Lexington. Pandora's box has been intercepted by a giant creature. Some kind of golem. Thing forms by absorbing wreckage from its surroundings using a high energy magnetic field. Unfortunately, it's absorbed Pandora's box. We're flying in three electromagnetic pulse generators to tear it apart. Cool. Be ready to secure the area once our choppers deploy the EMPs. Now move out. All right then. I'm assuming from the stance and familiarity and all that that Charles Deckard here was once a PMC. At least served in some kind of military. Maybe that's where he got his advanced stealth training and infiltration techniques. Over three in position, ready to deploy EMP. I don't know. Over Conjecture. Uh, I assume I'm on point. Because I'm just so important to all of you. Alright. I can hear it though. Oh, uh, guys. Ah. Contact. Oh. All right then. I'll assume that wasn't part of the plan. Bloomer 2, report status. Bloomer 2, come in. Damn, we lost. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is no good. We need to get above ground. We have to reach right, our choppers. I don't think they're there to reach anymore, man. <sighs> and I think that is as good a place as any to leave this episode. Because that was fairly action-packed. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I am having some fun with it. Um, again, I, I can see where some of the critiques came from about this at launch, um, especially regarding the linearity of it all, and some of the acting is a little cheesy. At the same time, though, it, it's moving along at a pace that isn't, at least at so far this junction, uh, overstaying its welcome. It's, it, I think the, the developers sort of know what this game is about and what the player is going to have the most fun with and so they're just moving things along from one set piece to another so you can get as much action and eye candy as possible so anyway check out some more of this game coming up soon here on the channel i'm kid here at Lessable press and as always wish you all good gaming and godspeed